Hi everybody, uh, this is Jose Luis Morales with the Morales Real Estate Group here at Remax Gold Coast Realtors and welcome back to my video blog. Today I am going to be explaining to you guys the process of selling and buying at the same time. So stay tuned. So for whatever reason, a lot of people are selling and buying at the same time right now. A lot of them are selling, moving into something bigger, selling, moving into something smaller, or sometimes even selling, uh, relocating and moving out of Southern California or sometimes even California. Uh, some cases, some people are just selling and cashing out completely. So uh, there's a couple of options when selling and buying a property at the same time. Uh, the first option and most common option is to uh, sell contingent upon finding a home of choice. So uh, what this option looks like is that you're not obligated to sell your property. The only way that you're obligated to sell your property is if you find a replacement property or home of choice that you've identified that you feel comfortable uh, purchasing. So some of the benefits of doing this uh, is that there's only one move you sell and you buy at the same time you move right into your new home uh, the other benefits is that uh, you're not obligated to, to, to move forward with the sale of your property now when people are exploring this option sometimes people for whatever reason think that they find the property first then they put their property on the marketplace uh, what we typically recommend is the other way around uh, the reason we recommend the other way around is because a lot of the times when selling and buying a property at the same time, um, uh, a lot of the good properties or, or a lot of the good deals in the marketplace tend to sell really fast or sometimes uh, don't last on the market very long. So it's helpful when you're presenting an offer when purchasing to already have an offer on your property. So what that would look like is that you put your property on the marketplace, you accept an offer on your property contingent upon you finding a home of choice. Once you uh, identify the home of choice, then you write an offer on that property, but you've already got an offer on your property. So uh, the way that it works is the buyer, when you're selling, gives you a certain amount of time to find a home of choice. Uh, I think the contract states 21 days, you can request more, you can request less, so you can say, I need 30 days to find a home of choice. After the 30 days, if you had not identified a home of choice, you have a couple of options. Option A is you continue, uh, you ask the buyer to give you an extension. You say, hey, Mr. Buyer, I haven't been able to find a property. Can you give me an extension so that I can continue looking for a property? That buyer may say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. If that buyer says, no, you're not obligated to continue with the sale, and at that point you have a couple of options. Option A is you can find another buyer uh, to, to, to buy your home, obviously contingent upon you finding another one, or B, the, at that point you're not obligated to sell, so for, for whatever reason, um, you can even decide to take your property off the market. Uh, that's the most common option. You have options. The, what people like about this option is that they're not obligated to do anything and it only requires one move. Uh, the close of escrows happen within a couple days of, of one another. You close on your property one day, uh, you close on the next property that you're buying in, a, a, in the day after typically. Uh, one of the things that we like to do at the Morales Group is when selling and buying, uh, we like to request a couple days for our sellers. So if you're selling, we like to request three days after the close of escrow to be able to move out, in some cases even up to a week, five days. We like to do this so that you're not feeling pressured to move out of the property immediately after closing on it. So you sell your property that you're buying closes to the next day and you have an extra three, four days to move out, get all your personal belongings and be able to make it happen. The thing about this is that this does have to be negotiated up front, so it's important for your agent to, to be looking out for those sorts of things for you. Uh, the second option that we have uh, when selling and buying at the same time is some people uh, want to sell first to make their offer non-contingent and they decide to rent. So in some cases, some of the buyers in the marketplace are offering our sellers uh, the option to rent back the property for a period of 30, 60 days to have a little bit more time to be able to find a home of choice or to not feel pressured to be able to move out of the property. So in some cases, the sellers will sell 
uh, once it closes, they'll have another 30 to 60 days after the close of escrow to, to be able to move out. Obviously, this these terms are negotiated in the contract, meaning the amount of rent that they're going to pay is negotiated. Uh, in some rare cases, we've even been able to negotiate for our clients where they can live in the property for 30 days without having to pay anything. Obviously, depending on the amount of activity that we're having on the property and the amount of offers that we've had on the property as well, too. So option number three, and uh, this is uh, some option that some people choose to do. So the sellers will sell, they'll move in with family, or they'll rent a property for a period of time, and then what they'll do is they'll take their time uh, to be able to purchase a property. So they'll sell, uh, maybe move in with family, shop around, uh, see what else is out there in the marketplace, and really be patient in terms of buying. Uh, some of the negatives about going with this strategy is that it will require two moves. Uh, move number one, uh, you move into family, then you move into your new home once you identify it. Um, some of the benefits of doing this one is that uh, you're not really feeling, uh, there's no sense of rush, meaning you're not under a strict time frame to identify or find another property, and it only requires one move as well too. So as you can see, uh, if you're selling and buying, there's a lot of different options available to you. Uh, if you are interested in selling and buying at the same time, we can provide you with a variety of different options. Uh, that fit your needs. Uh, my name is Jose Luis Morales. I work with Remax, a real estate company. I'm here to help. I'm here to get the job done and I'm here to, to help you accomplish your real estate goals. Make it a great day and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Adios, bye-bye.